hello in this video we will learn about working capital management so let's start in this session we will cover concept of working capital risk return trade-off types of working capital needs working capital financing approaches to managing working capital financing estimation of operating cycle and estimation of working capital based on operating cycle so what is the concept of working capital management uses two ways to define working capital gross working capital and net working capital gross working capital refers to a company's investment in current assets net working capital is the investment in current assets minus the amount of current liabilities so current assets the current assets of a company are those assets that can be converted into cash within a period of less than one year some examples of current assets are cash marketable securities inventories accounts receivable and prepaid expenses current liabilities the current liability of a company refers to liabilities that have to be paid within a period of one year these are short term debts that normally require a company to convert some of its current assets into cash in order to pay them they include the following, following uh, accounts payable acquired expenses current portion of long term debts short term notes payable fixed assets working fixed assets versus uh, working capital fixed assets involve a long time period thus time value of money concept is used to discount future cash flows working capital relates to current assets and current liabilities so the time horizon is limited to a year and thus the working thus the time value of money concept is not used fixed assets impact long term profitability fixed assets involve a long time period thus the time value thus the time value money concept is used to discount future cash flows fixed assets impact long term profitability the decisions to invest in fixed assets are irreversible working capital management managing current assets in a manner that results in maximum value of the firm in working capital management the finance manager needs to determine the following what is the appropriate level of investment in cas determination of the working capital or operating cycle how should the investment in cas be financed risk return trade off liquidity versus profitability based on two key assumptions current assets are less profitable uh, profitable than fixed assets short term funds are cheaper than long term funds a large working capital reduces illiquidity risk but at the cost of profitability a low working capital reduces liquidity but results in higher profitability permanent working capital versus temporary working capital so these are the two types of working capital let's start with permanent working capital minimum level of working capital required at all times <laughs> would generally remain fixed in absolute amount but may sometimes also increased at a constant rate over time temporary working capital it is that level of working capital which is required over and above the permanent portion it is required to meet the requirements out of fluctuations in sales volume so this is the working capital and working capital chart